Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm starting to call myself like an every other daily vlogger at the moment. Um, yeah, yesterday was just a no go. Um, I've been so busy recently. Obviously, with me not being very well, I just yeah keep exhausting myself. <laughs> so it's like one day I'll be really busy and have loads to do. The next I'm too tired to move. Then I'll be really busy and then too tired to move. And yeah, a pattern starting starting to form a bit. But today is a new day. And today is actually a little bit different of a video for you. I do have Magnus with me. He's sat over there, still just in his pyjama top. But yeah, I'm not really sure what happened to his trousers. But yeah, today is different. Sorry, I'm trying to sort stuff up on the Xbox while I'm talking to you. Because Magnus is going to stay around his granny and grandpies tonight whilst we go to the midnight showing of Infinity War. How exciting. Tristan got tickets like as a nice little treat for us, I want to say a couple of weeks ago. Um, I think he managed to get them free through his like Odeon card as well. So that's really good. And I'm so excited. I am like a huge Avengers fan, like any Marvel really, even like the X-Men films, which no one seems to really like. I love them. Magnus is climbing. <laughs> so yeah, where well, I think I'm gonna take you with me obviously to go drop Magnus off. And then I think I'm meeting Tristan from uni. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna go hang out at, with some of his uni friends for a bit. Play, maybe play some magic. I'm not really sure. I have a whole day free. Wants to get rid of Magnus, of course. So Magnus is all packed and ready to go. Um, I still have not put much. I put like two nappies in there because he's got like a whole stash at my parents. Um, but yeah, apart from that, just yeah, clothes, some wipes. He's got loads of toys around there as well. So yeah, I just really need to put bare basics in these days because he does stay with my parents quite a lot. They love having him and he likes being with them. And obviously like it gives me interest in a bit of a break every now and again. So yeah, everybody wins. Um, and we probably go see him probably more than most people do. But like, I know as growing up, I spent a lot of time with my grandparents. And because of that, I've just got such a close bond with them. So yeah, it'd be really nice if Magnus gets that sort of bond with my parents as well. I just emptied out the changing bag and this is all of the rubbish that came out of it. I really need to start emptying the changing bag more. So I'm just gonna go throw this all in the bin. You know those days where you think it's actually hours later than it actually is? Um, I'm having one of those days. I start getting my clothes ready to go and everything. Then the minute I put his shoes on, I looked at my clock, I realized it was only half past eight. But of course, by then, Magnus knew that we were going out because he had his shoes on. So he started getting really grumpy because we weren't going out. So yeah, I've brought him out a little bit early. Like, it's too early for even reaching around the shops because they're not open because it's not even nine o'clock yet. But um, yeah, I'm a little bit early for taking him to my mum's. It takes like an hour to get there, but it's still a little bit early. I need to get some money out over the bus and just realised that I left some stuff at home that I was going to take up to Bristol with me so I might have to go back to home pick that up before going to the bus stop. So yeah, it's all very fun here today. This is like officially my happy place in Wilco's. I, I need so much of this. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually mentioned here, but I absolutely love baking. So especially like this, I need that. I need, ooh, I need these. I need a flour sifter. I need it all. Magnus is just chilling in his pram. It's like about going to Granny and Grand, please. Yeah, oh, look, we'll be waving hello to these apparently. You're saying hello to everyone you see, aren't you? Even apparently people you don't see. 
He's in a much better mood now he's out. You sing him. It's a nice little song. Are we on the second verse? No joke, I've just spent like 15 minutes in Waterstones looking for a book about cows. Um, I was browsing because I thought a book that I wanted to come out today, but it wasn't there. Um, so I went over to look at the picture book for Magnus, and suddenly he starts going, book, cow, book, cow. So I thought obviously he wants a book about cows. I couldn't find one anywhere. There are a couple of books that were like cows as side characters, but I bought most of those anyway, so that's no good. Um, so yeah, if anyone knows any good books about cows, let me know because Magnus is obsessed.
are back in the western um as you might be able to tell our plans changed a little and we ended up just sort of wandering around bristol going to all the shops um we did go into Primark after i stopped like the last clip but um i had a bit of a breakdown when i was in there because i don't like the way i look and yeah i've always just i really need to buy some summer clothes and I need to buy some summer clothes, but I'm not really able to do that right now. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I've decided, though, I'm going to start, I don't know necessarily slimming world as such right now, but I'm going to try building back to healthy eating because I've had a few weeks off from it now and I just feel like rubbish, <laughs> really. Um, I don't know if that's kind of contributing to how I've been feeling physically, but mentally I'm just feeling a bit blah because I'm just hate the way I look so yeah that's a nice fun conversation for date day isn't it um I'm not sure what our plan is now um I know we're going out for dinner at some point completely you know going against everything I just said but I'm starting back with the healthy eating tomorrow so I'm gonna have one last treat me and Tristan are gonna have a night off enjoy ourselves maybe get some popcorn at the cinema as well and then yeah, I'm back on it tomorrow. So we're out again. We've just basically been sat at home for the last hour going, what do you want to eat? I don't know. What do you want to eat? I don't know. What do you want to eat? So we've decided we're going to go to Spoons. Um, yeah, obviously I'm not going back on this diet tomorrow. I'm going big tonight. I'm going to have a chilli dog. Maybe some sticky toffee pudding. We'll have to see how I feel after my chilli dog. And yeah, it's going to be yummy. I'm going to have fun. And yeah, like I said, the dial's so much more. home it's like quarter past eight so we've got a bit of time to kill for the film because obviously it's like it's a midnight release so we are just going to play up on a bit of fable three um we were having quite a lot of fun playing it together but we haven't managed to play it together for a few days i guess because i've been busy with like playing the original fable and tristan's been doing his own thing but yeah we're going to sit down and play it together for a bit obviously i'm not going to film it because you probably don't really want to watch that so i will see you on the other side so it's 11 o'clock and we are just heading out. Um, I had a bit of a sleep in the end. We played a little bit of Fable and then I started getting a bit tired. I thought, if I'm tired now, rude. <laughs> What's it going to be like when I start, like when I actually start walking down to watch the film? So yeah, I had a nap and I feel a bit more refreshed. So we are just popping down to Tesco now to grab some energy drinks keep us awake and some popcorn because film um i am making a potentially bit of a strange decision to take a blanket with me into the cinema i feel like i did not explain the blanket before um i have a little mocha here um, okay, frappe. So it's nice and cold. Because that's obviously what you want to do at 11 at night. Um, but yeah, the blanket. Basically, every time I get to the cinema, it's always really cold in there. And I'm pretty cold today anyway. And also, it's the middle of the night. So I thought, you know what? I don't care if you believe me. I'm taking my blanket. So yeah, I'm just drinking this and then we're going to go in. I'm really excited. So we're home. Um, yeah, the film was amazing. I'm going to try and keep it really vague because obviously I don't want to spoil anything for anyone because like, you know, it's only literally been out for like three hours. So um, 
yeah, like I say, I'm going to try and keep it as vague as possible. Apologies if anything kind of comes close to spoilery, I guess. But yeah, amazing film. You do get thrown in completely at the beginning and it's a bit confusing, but it gets kind of explained later on in the film. So just kind of bear with it. Um, all the alpha male superheroes come together is absolutely hilarious. Like the band between them all is just completely on point. It's like a laugh a minute until suddenly it's not. Um, all I'm going to say about the ending is very, very emotional. Um, also, they do a little bit of trolling you at the end, as you think the secret ending's going to happen. It's not going to happen. But there is one right at like the very, very end of the credits. So yeah, I'm sure if you're a Marvel fan, anyway, you know, only leave the cinema when the lights come back on. But if you don't, then don't leave the cinema until the lights come back on. Um, and now it's like three o'clock in the morning and I'm off to bed. Um, I'm probably not going to be filming anything tomorrow because I'm going to be catching up on some sleep and relaxing until Magnus comes home and sorry Tristan's being noisy. <laughs> He's pretty much just going to be coming home and then go straight to bed. So yeah, you're not going to see much of him either. So I will be filming as usual on Friday, so I'll see you guys on Saturday. Bye!